I'm dying right now. I want to go live, but there's no guarantee I won't accidentally slip up. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. Let's put it that way. I had a face mask on. I washed off a lot of it. I'm not feeling so good. Everything's coming out, though. I just blew so much stuff out my, uh, my breathing functions, my nose. I like to go to school and learn more about the human anatomy. I constantly doubt myself and think that I'm not intelligent enough to properly learn that information. My tongue still hurts. I would like to go to school for traditional Chinese medicine, though I also most of all beat myself up over that, especially from the last life. It's part of my inheritance and my karma, you could say. And plus some of the karma that I have in this life, I relive it all the time because of my fear or my mind, you could say. <sighs> Pardon me, wishes someone was here to completely scrub me. Like a dog, like a real dog. I feel like a dog soul. I feel like also withdrawal feeling. I'm feeling mad, mad vibration here. And yeah, part of it is connected probably to my outbreak. <sighs> I'm so upset. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> Mostly angry at me. And it makes me violent at me and be like, haha, I'll get you later. Or this is how I got me later. You know what I mean? <sighs> Everyone says I'm like hard on myself. So like I feel like I'm the only one that really knows me. And then like part of me gets off on the people who beat me up. You know what I mean? Like, I've welcomed death, and yeah, please come kill me, you know? <laughs> well, obviously, I don't really mean that. Because, like, maybe that's part of my inner warrior that's like, right, I dare you. <laughs> you know? Because <sighs> I know that I have to fight with all my might, and I know that I can't go home unless I fight with all my might. But I also have to be careful what I'm generating, what I'm doing. And there's a lot of people that feel like me. And there's a lot of people that aren't admitting it. I feel like I'm going to faint, so part of me wants to, like, lay down. Mmm. I'm hungry for comfort. I've had breathing problems since I was a kid. It's symbolizing uh, me not wanting to be here. I've had to keep secrets since I was a kid. Like, I wasn't allowed to be myself. And there's things that, like, the other kids weren't allowed to know about me. Because then, yeah, maybe they wouldn't want to be my friend and I'd get it attacked. And honestly, it's about an illness that my father has. And as if that wasn't already hard enough, having to accept that he would pass at God knows when. And him being such like an epitome of my being, my intelligence, my craving for wisdom and knowledge, my yearning for traveling the world, my understanding of my family, I didn't know how angry I was until I saw the Freddie Mercury movie. Which at the time, I was dating a boy named Graham. And he nearly had to beg me to go. I was so ignorant, I had no clue who the band was or who he was, I knew nothing. And maybe Graham knew, I don't know. Maybe his higher self knew. Maybe God knew and worked through him. There's no doubt, or maybe they're all true. Okay. It's not really about that right now. Just my father and I both now have goo syndromes. And honestly, when I was a baby, <laughs> you could say baby minded or something, I would think about hurting myself with my father's razors inheriting the same illness through the bloodstream. And one time I left that honesty in a post-secret book. What a big responsibility to throw on somebody else, huh? Part of me wants the cold. I don't know what to do. I need help. And that's why, like, I'm partially reaching out. Let me take out my hair tie. And when I say I need help, I mean I need love. I need the frequency of love to inherit and swarm.
earth, all of creation. No one believes me that I'm Native American. Nobody believes me the things that I say. What they do believe is all the acting I've ever done. Every fucking act I've ever done. Do you have any idea how frustrating that is? To be a model, to be an entertainer. And for people to believe the lies. But then when you finally tell the truth, we're looked at as crazy, insane, having an episode. <laughs> I know my intelligence. And I know what's going to happen. And I've already accepted my fate because I've created this fate from my very beginning. <sighs> Hmm. I have so many things I need to share with you, and I'm doing my best to share with you everything I possibly can to the point where it's draining me. I need to go underwater. You're gonna... I know, I wish I could show you. Though, due to my nudity, right, I can't... God forbid if anything shows where... And you know, I learned it's just in America, supposedly. And, um, I wanted to say Arabian or Muslim. I'm not trying to be offensive, I'm just simply attempting... To communicate, though, I thought it was really interesting because we know that America has secret handshakes with, um, I forgot the name, ISIS, maybe? Oh, not that it's harmful or, I mean, obviously it's harmful because people are getting killed. So it is technically harmful and they take pride in the harm. There's a lot of different things going on. It's, a lot of it has to do with egos and people thinking that they have the right to play creator of the universe, which is true in some level because God did totally give us that right to create and destroy. Uh, allow me to, please. Oh. I'm still thinking about Roberto. I am a little bit grossed out because I'm on the floor and it's like next to a toilet. And honestly, I need to clean the floor. There's like mainly dirt on the floor though because I keep um, a plant. <laughs> oh. I'm doing my best to stay professional. I understand that there's a lot of people who are in worse scenarios than me in this universe. And I know that there's like a lot of people who basically don't care they're saying right now. And they will turn this off and they will ignore it because they find more comfort in the things that they choose to focus on. Such as their worries, anxieties, depressions, paranoias, love interests, whatever they want to own and manipulate. Meanwhile, here I am yearning to be of service, yearning to be making money to eat. Exactly, I was listening to my my boy, Om Goku Ray or something like that. He's on my Instagram, he's one of my favorite people. If you ask me about Om, I'll send him to you. Um, he was talking about exactly people like Nike are rich, right? You support Nike, they don't give a crap about you or the youth. This is science. And these are the people who are paying for advertisements. And which is why people like me's content is likely not to last because they want to control and manipulate the masses. However, no publicity is bad publicity, so perhaps me plugging them might interest them. Or they think that they can win me over. <sighs> or at least dress me in Nikes, or honestly, I'm already wearing Nikes. <laughs> which is why that hit home for me. Um, what's that? I guess some type of boo boo. Oh, that's from the oven. I'm always injuring myself. I would rather hurt myself than others. I've been that way since I was a child. I've chosen that all my life. I've known that all my life. I'm kind of like depressed and angry and lonely. And like, I almost, I would be like, maybe I'm possessed right now by a spiritual entity. <laughs> like a negative vibration, which is very possible because I've been surrounding myself with lower frequencies lately due to my yearning to be useful. Literally, it's making me more ill. I have so much I need to do. I need you to go back and look at all the old content if you're watching this right now. Take advantage, back it all up, put it somewhere. Be my helper, be the assistant to my happiness, right? You remember any of that? I 
I feel so alone though. I know it's just me and God right now. And yeah, I recognize that I can call in the archangels and all that. But right now, I do just kind of, it's just wanting between me and God right now. Even though I could have everybody lift me up. I chose this. So I can learn. <laughs> I'm having issues breathing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I'm not the prettiest right now. <sighs> Please don't get so caught up on aesthetics. That was part of it. That was part of it. My throat. <sighs> They're still swollen. I feel like withdrawal or something. It's not like withdrawal, but I feel like heavy, like weight in the aura. <sighs> Mad weighted. I have a lot of things I need to learn, though I can't do it until I'm better. <sighs> Being reminded lessons I've already learned. And I hate myself for it. <laughs> Not really though. <laughs> I just, ugh, I have so much sickness. Yuck, my body's so infected. I need to eat better, I need to stop consuming sugar. All these things I already know. <sighs> Maybe it's post-nasal drip right now, let me get up. Oh my God. Let's go back in the water. I don't feel good. Uh, mm. <sighs> Part of me just feels like I wish there was like a big strong man Yeah, like a man in the sky, right? Like a god <laughs> Who'd pick me up Lift me up out of this bathtub Put their hand on my stomach and just take everything away. And honestly, in the middle of a slumber, while I fell asleep in their arms, <sighs> I'm so ill right now. Idea. It's only gonna be able to be a short one, but it'll help. Pranayam and Brahmacharya are some of the most important things for me. I really need to continue my yoga practices. I need to have the freedom to do what I need to do so I can help you and myself. And that means I'm going to need support. And I know that I have supporters. Though I know that I have haters and misunderstanders too. So I could use help with all of those things. And some of you know what you can do. Like some of you know that you can financially help out and be like, oh, money ain't a problem for me. And some of you say, hey... I can really go to beating down haters and guiding people to help others. <laughs> you know, there's all, I'm really good at marketing or I'm really good at, you know who you are. You know what you can do. You know how you can be an agent to my happiness or an assistant to my happiness, which means I can be an assistant to your happiness. <laughs> my bedroom door just closed. There's so many different energies and things going on. I need sage. And I need plants. And I need property. I need some assistant. Some assistance. <laughs> I know that we played with words. 
in the past in other videos and I know there's a lot of people that hate me. Yeah, also love me for the content that I've created. I see you. I love you. I'm like wondering, are you willing to watch me transform? Have you seen me transform? In just a few moments, how words and pills can change the frequency. You know what else is helping the white roses in the water? Even though there's pesticides or whatever they've done to these roses, they still have their core essence and they're penetrating through the water. And they're loving me and surrounding me with love. And I love flowers. I love being able to buy flowers every once in a while. And I love having this bathtub and being able to soak in hot, hot water. Because I've been to places where there isn't hot water. And I need hot, hot, hot. Because I'm from Procyon. I need help. Ooh. I've been singing songs, letting you know what's going on. I've been telling the world through my voice, putting out the energy that I feel right now. Letting everyone know how much pain I'm in. And I hide and I mask inside with all that you can see and feel and hear and touch and smell and sniff. I wanted to say when I almost messed up. <laughs> I am my own individual, I make my own songs, I sing my own tune, I am my own man. I scare people because I'm too strong, I scare myself because I don't know myself at all. I love this man, I dare not say he knows his name. And I know that you want to put your name there right now, though please don't dare. How unfair. Know your game, know your karma, and know your truth. You see, you scrub. You see, you scrub yourself up real well, please. Yum, 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 C-E-L-L-F, cell, cell, self. It is myself and my cells, how they express themselves. I've come so far on this journey. Sometimes I'm not even sure where I'm at anymore or where we're going. And so I know I'm still so hungry. Not just for food, though for the truth. Please help me see. And help me eat, for I am weak, and I can't. Hmm. Yum, 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 yum. May the song heal your heart, for it's true, I suffer too. 
And yes, it's true, a lot of it is in the mind and manifested in the body and in real time now too. I know you see, I know you feel. <sighs> I need a crew, I need a crew. People I can be comfortable around, my own community. My own place of being where we coexist and we hold hands and grow our food and we share what is ours because what is mine is also yours and what is yours is all of theirs and what's all of mine is all theirs too in its room. <clears throat> Let's do more dunks. <sighs> they just showed me something else. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm getting itchy. Itchy on my arm. I need like, I'm gonna use this, uh, the thing that's used to scrub the skin off your feet. I'm using it on my arm. In my hand. I'm stimulating all the channels. And honestly, it makes me think of that one movie I tell you about all the time with the astronaut. You know where I could show like everything and not worry about nudity is the OnlyFans. Though, I don't really want to do that either. I will eventually, I'm sure. But like, again, this isn't so much about the money as much as it is to help everybody. Ugh. You know, like scrub myself other places, get off this dead skin. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I don't feel good, man. I don't know what to do. I need water. You drink water and you drink some juice. Yeah, let's go get some more juice. I've been sitting in this salt for a while. This isn't YouTube live, so I can't like turn around the camera. Hi, Poof. I'm mad at you. Mad at you. Poof peed on the carpet. I need to make a concoction, to be honest. So weird with me. I got elderberry tea mixed with oregano, ginger, and turmeric. I got organic Concord grape juice, organic pure pineapple juice. Doing a splash of pineapple on the bottom. Doing Concord grape next. And then, yeah, I'm topping it off a little with elderberry medicine. All right, you drink this. Um, oh yeah. There's 10% zinc in this pineapple juice. Five milligram sodium, 26 total sugars though. And that's just in eight fluid ounces. It's a lot. It's got 10% folate, 40% manganese, 6% potassium, 2% calcium. 50% vitamin C, 4% iron, and the grape juice is 31 grams of sugar in 8 fluid ounces, 15 milligrams of sodium, 8% potassium, 2% or 2 grams of protein really, 2% uh, vitamin C, 4% iron, 4% calcium. Keep drinking this. It's certainly important to me to have my own living quarters. I mean, I understand I have these quarters now. I'm in a very fortunate situation at this time. So I will 
be needing assistance in the future for sure, which is why I'm asking so much about, um, you know, agents to my happiness, those that were serious now that we've come this far. I'm drinking another round of this juice, bear with me, it's difficult, honestly, it's really difficult to put anything in my body right now. Not that I'm going to throw up, but so much just like I'm having a hard time nourishing the self and respecting the self, etc. Wanting to be here. I'm going to put these away. I gotta clean my refrigerator. I gotta clean. I gotta focus on getting better. Oh my god, UPS is here. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Oh man, you wanna hear my fountain? My tongue is kind of stinging. Wait, I can't get it to focus. So much laundry to put away. Mm. Mm, it's not feeling good. Tongue hurts. <laughs> Everything sucks. Everything sucks. Mm, back to the bathtub. <laughs> not the most flattering view. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Try not to drop my phone in the water, it's true. Mm, I brushed my teeth first and I flossed. Mm, uh, uh. Mm. I'm looking for community, like people who really, really like me, accept me for who I am, and don't care about, like, stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. How about, I'll just say, like, unconditionally loving. Like, there's nothing that would make somebody not want to talk to me or not like me or things like that. Mm -hmm. a lot oh you know what would be really nice to do mm, float tank spa right now oh my god that would be incredible mm, I should do that <laughs>
I uh, I would love to find like more platforms that aren't censored. You know what I mean? <sighs> Like, um, you know what I mean? Like, good platforms that have no censorship exactly in, like, language or visuals. Like, no censorship. <sighs> it's really hard. And, like, also vessels that allow you to generate sources of income. You know what I mean? Producers. I don't know. There's all kinds of... Or at least to be able... Like, even there's platforms that don't allow you to even talk about generating income if you're putting promoting on their, on their platform, if that makes sense. There's all kinds of different stuff like that. Oh. Uh. I have a very active mind. I'm like, how's, the, how's them eyeballs, DARPA? Judging and uh, observing the self. <laughs> I have some really amazing text messages I need to read from Zach. And I have like amazing email from him waiting. And I also have an amazing GoPro for him that I need to uh, play with. Because I could probably use that as I read the text messages on my phone. I have so many things I need to do. I need to tighten up. But first, I really need to get my health back. And as soon as I get that back, oh my god, prepare. <laughs> mm. I'm getting some visions on some things that I could do, some options. Mm. Still frustrating, though. It is. I'm learning as we go, you know? My Kairiki. Oh, say Vakavu. <laughs> I'm being so enlightened right now. I'm so grateful. So grateful. Thank you for your time and your energy and your awareness and your help and your kindness and your love and your comfort and your friendship and your gold and white energy. Those are my favorites. I like the pinks, the blues, the yellows, the golds, the greens. <laughs> my Kareki. Oh, say bakavu. Oh, she, oh, she, oh, she. <laughs> I'm singing the ayahuasca ceremony. One of my favorite videos on my stream right now. I'm going to have to edit those and put those on my Trina spiritual journey. My Kairiki. I know my playlists aren't really organized. I could use your help. I could. With your commentary. And commentary. <sighs> Part of me is just totally fried. Fried. Oh, say Vakaku. I really liked Roberto. <laughs> I really like the idea of the possibilities of what that could be. Yo, I'm going to have to find Zach's text messages and like read those for sure. We're gonna have to do that. We are. Mm. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to do that. I know why you guys find it like no. 
I'm so intrigued. Fascinated. I just keep wondering what's next. And like, yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't want to cook. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to it at this point because it's become like an alchemy for me. I'm going to chop up so many onions, so many onions. I'm chopping up a lot of onions. I'm going to chop up, um, what was I going to chop up? Onions and something else. Oh, peppers and peppers. Yeah, I hope I have some, like, multiple, like, a certain dish that I like. I hope that it's able to go in the oven. I would love to find some, like, glassware, basically, that's able to go in the oven. <sighs> I'm learning all these different things. And pleasures of existing, you know, learning how to exist. Learning all these different things. Simultaneously fighting um, emotional and bodily things that are coming up. I'm receiving a lot of energetic transference from people that I've been surrounding myself with, people that I care about. Mm. I'm going to have to communicate that with them. There's a lot of things I need to do. I love you. Let me get out of here. Peace.